Hello, welcome back to another video. Now, I feel like this is something I should talk about. Open MRIs. You will not believe how many people actually ask me, is this an open MRI or is this a closed one? I wanted a, an MRI with, you know, that's open and yada, yada, yada. Now, I currently work with a closed MRI, okay, which is different. Now, this one we're looking at here is a open MRI. Um, and you can tell that it's open, right? Because you can see the patient laying on their back and you can see the patient from the side. Now, this uh, particular case is, or it looks like from a knee, uh, left knee MRI, which the patient can go in feet first. Now, just to, so that you understand how it works, you come in from here, okay, right here, and you're going to slide in to right where you're at. Now, the middle looks like it's somewhere around here of the MRI. So that's where your knee would be, right in the middle, right? So now this guy here is portrayed to be the tech, okay? So that's the tech. Now, the tech is not going to stay there forever right so it's just going to be there to position you give the headphones and that's about it now when it's time to do the actual exam he's not going to stay there you're going to be left alone unless you have someone to be with you inside the room that has no metal or contraindications for uh, an mri examination as if they were the patient. So what we're looking at here is, like I said, an open MRI that is, is in this case is going to be for the knee, okay? And, and by the way, this, this person is looking up, right? Because the tech is right there. But you can, if you wanted to, you can look to the side, to the other side, because it is open on the sides. And that is where I feel like most people get it confused, right? It's not 100% open. It's open on the sides. And what I mean on the sides is partially. This is why. Because if you were having a, a, a lower back MRI, which most people do nowadays, this is your lower back right here, okay? That needs to be in more to where the knee is. So now your knee is somewhere over here. This is where your feet are going to be. So now you're stuck in the middle again because most of us, obviously, uh, somewhere in the lower, or not lower, but that lumbar one or two is about our mid body from top to bottom. So that has to be in the middle, okay? So you don't get to have it your way all the time, uh, unfortunately. So if you have something that is going to be imaged, that something has to be in the middle. Now, that means your head is probably going to be somewhere, uh, I wanna say somewhere about here. This is where your head is going to be. Um, and you can still look to the sides, but you see how this is shaped anywhere, like a concave shape? That means this, her direct line of sight, her direct line of sight is on top, right here, of the magnet. Okay, so it's not 100% uh, open, right? Because your line of sight is going to be, you're going to be like the 
ham or, 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 or cheese to the sandwich. So you're right there between this plate and this other plate, okay? Because let me just tell you how the shape would look like. We have all seen what a magnet looks like. Now, it looks something like this. You have the North Pole, or the South Pole. And that is because it is portrayed to be broken right here, right? So if we take this N-shaped or U-shaped, right? Whatever you want to look at it right there. Now, if we turn it to the side, this is what this would be, okay? So we have this here to be your magnet. It's on its side so that you have this space to be in, okay? So that's what it looks like. Um, so unfortunately, you are going to be somewhere in the middle of something, okay? But not to the sides. For the most part, you're going to have some space to look to the sides, okay? You're not going to be in a closed or completely uh, closed environment. So when, when you're thinking open MRI, it's only to the sides. It's not up or down, okay? It's not front or back. And most people, when they go to the closed MRIs, they don't want to do it. They get claustrophobic because they're not able to look out or they're not able to look up. But it's no, it's almost no different from a uh, open MRIs. The only difference is you can look to the side, okay. And honestly, if you wanted to, you can have you know take a swim there. You can take your arms, spread them out what this way, whatever you want to do, right? Just think that's your arm right there, and and you're good to go. You can have someone with you. To sit somewhere here, plastic chair, hold their hand, whatever works for you, right? But that's basically what um, an open MRI is. Now, there are other uh, open MRIs. Now, this one you slide in feet first, okay? For this one I have here, you slide from where she uh, let's see here so from where she's standing right here from right here you get to slide from here that way so you're sliding to the left or to the right whichever you want to do now this one page this patient is uh positioned for an abdomen okay this is where the abdomen would be and they have the abdomen coil which is actually very small but it makes sense because it is an open MRI. Um, so this here, I'm gonna, you're, you're sliding in from your right, okay? You're gonna slide, this, this whole table here slides in from here that way, okay? Now, if you need to come up or down, this table will do that up that way or down this way, okay? Depending on the body part. Now, because it is the abdomen, okay, it has to be, as you can see, right in the middle. If it was your uh, thorax, then you would need to slide down a bit more. If it was your head, the head, guess what? It's going to be, again, it's going to be in the middle, okay? So let me just read a bunch of lines here. The, your head, like I said, which is what our, you know, most people are concerned about is if it was the anatomy of interest, it would be in the middle with a different kind of coil, but it will still be wrapped, you know, um, in addition to if you had uh, a cervical or a neck, you will still have your uh, head wrapped in some kind of coil in the middle. Again, 
same same example as the other one as this one you have the c-shaped somewhere in there uh, c-shaped magnet okay that's what it would look like instead of going in that way you're sliding that way this table comes up or down some of them some don't and that is basically what a open MRI looks like okay now you have to be careful about these because number one you have to be okay that your uh, primary care physician you're ordering doctor the whoever doctor you went to to get a prescription for your MRI has to be okay with an open MRI because some orders specify they want a closed one. And if they want a closed one, that is mainly because a closed MRI, which is, uh, so this is what the magnet would look like, right? And a closed one and the uh, open one, it has to be cut right for the patient to go in sideways but now this one here is not as powerful as the one that is closed because it lost the property of being a magnet so now this closed one being 100 percent a circle and 100 percent a magnet gives you more image quality for the most part okay there are good quality images coming from open uh, open MRIs don't get me wrong but it can never be better quality wise characteristics it will not be better ever than that of a closed MRI okay that is just properties of being a magnet and the doctor has to be okay with that if you're going to your ortho and they want an mri most of them are okay with uh with open mris because with extremities you can really get away with uh with an open mri if you're having a cervical thoracic lumbar uh abdomen chest shoulder uh, brain then you're almost out of luck because most of those exams will require uh, 1.5 or 3 tesla closed mri and by the way uh while i'm at it, it whenever you hear a 1.3 or 1.5 and a 3 there are 0 0.25 0 0.35 teslas uh, the anything below 1.5, it is most likely an open one. Okay. Now, I, I say it's most likely because you have 1.5. You have 1.5 being open. That's a thing. Okay. So a 1.5 Tesla can be open or closed. Okay, but they're, they're mostly uh, closed. Okay, but can you in encounter uh, uh, an open MRI that is 1.5? Yes. Can you encounter um, a 3.0 Tesla that is open? I have yet to know, well, maybe I have heard about one or two maybe uh, but mo most likely if you see a 3.0 tesla it will be definitely a closed one okay they do the same thing they get the same images they get the same images um uh, they're both going to be closed like i said they look almost exactly the same one is going to be more powerful 
powerful than the other. One is going to have way better quality images than the other. Probably not in, in you know, it, it'll depend on what you're looking at, probably. Uh, some images are better on a 1.5 and some images are better on a, on a 3.0. Uh, okay, so now if we're talking a one point or point three five Tesla that will definitely be open and I've seen point twenty five Tesla anything below one point five is is going to be open okay now these on top here may look like a one point five I have no idea but again, that's what they look like. And I hope you understood what an open MRI is. And for the next video, I'm going to do a difference in image quality, a difference in what they look like between the open MRIs and the closed MRIs to help you choose your next um, uh, MRI appointment wisely. Thank you for watching.